know. What did they report? They said somebody outside is taking video or pictures of the building and it's be, be suspicious. Is that a crime? It's not a crime, but like... So... In Harrison, New York, a citizen with a camera is owning these two cops. Am I detained? No, you're not Okay, so you can leave me alone. You're recording me. Is that weird? That's part of the problem. You know, you're very hard to talk. That's, but you're making it more complicated. I'm just a private citizen in America exercising my rights on the public sidewalk. That's fine. If people feel uncomfortable, that's because they're ignorant to our rights. Okay, so that's where you guys come in, the guys that right, took an so oath to our why, rights, and you educate the reporting party. Hey, listen. I understand that. He's just on the public sidewalk taking pictures. So that's all. So we right? got your side of the story. Then rather than telling me, yeah, you need a reason, I don't need a reason. That's true, he doesn't need a reason. But a few minutes earlier, the man filming, who runs the YouTube channel Good Guy Audits, began recording on the sidewalk outside the Harrison, New York post office. People are playing games. Every time I leave, they come out. The federal workers inside called the local police. The police arrived within moments. Hey, sir. Hey, how are you? I didn't hear you. Officer Pops of Harrison Police. You taking pictures of the post office? Or yeah. Any particular reason or? Do I need a reason? No, you don't need a reason. But okay. It's fine. What's up, bud? Somebody called. Yeah, someone called in. Taking pictures over here or something. What's your name and badge number? Oh, you can. That's, that's fine. What were you doing taking pictures over here? It is department policy that officers give their name and badge number when asked. You didn't answer my question. You have to answer my question too, okay? I asked you first. You're being recorded. We're the officer Defonce, okay? Defonce, 142. Yeah. Okay, so what, what were you taking pictures of? I'm you're sorry? Pictures. Dude, we're just curious. We got a couple of calls that you're taking yeah, pictures in the area. Yeah, they call. Okay. Any particular reason you're taking the pictures or not? Is there a reason why you're recording? Yes, because it's part of our procedure. Oh, okay. okay. So that's fine. So any reason you take pictures, then we'll be quicker we can get out of here. Do I need a reason? Yeah, you need to hurry. We just gotta the officers here. stay relatively calm, though the cop on the right, with his body language, seems to know they are out of their league. Any reason you were photographing? Mm, there's a reason for everything. Okay, so what's your reason? Do I need a reason? Yes, it explains to you. Do you have ID with you, sir? For what? So I could identify you. What crime do you suspect me committing? I don't know. You're not, you're not helping me answer questions, so I don't know if you did a crime or didn't do a crime. So why are you asking me for ID? Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on here, and you're not being correct. You need reasonable articulable suspicion. Yes, I um, have plenty of suspicion. My suspicion is of what crime? We got a lot of calls. You were coming in the area. What crime do you suspect me of committing? Federal building, sir. Okay. okay. And we got a lot of calls. We've been having a lot of crime here. A lot of people have been stealing from mailboxes and that. We just want to make sure. What crime? Not you. You're not listening. I'm trying to explain. You're not you. answering you're not, my question. You're being very difficult. What sir. crime do you suspect me of committing? I'm trying to get to the bottom. Trying to figure this out. Can you work with us so we can? You want me to help you with your investigation? Yeah, we want to know what you were doing here. That's as simple as that. I'm asking you a simple, simple Whatever question. you see me doing is what I, I was know. doing. I just got here. You tell me. I wasn't here before when I got the call. We got multiple calls. I didn't call you, first of I all. I didn't call me, sir. Okay. We got multiple calls from residents. Uh -huh. They wanted to know what was going on. We got calls from people in the building. We're just trying to see what's going on. That's all. So you should um, speak to the reporting party. We did. That's why they brought us here. We're checking. What did they, they tell you? Here. What's that, sir? What did they tell you? That you were filming the building. Oh. Okay. Is that a crime? And say it was a crime. So why you need my ID? Just, just want to know what's going on. What, what brings you in the area? That's all. Just asking simple questions. That's all. Yeah. So once you ask me for ID and you can't come up with reason about taking well, suspicion, I did, I did that's when reason. I get upset. No, I did give you a reason because we had a lot of issues. I told you people been stealing from the But I, in order to ask my ID, you need to have RAS, reason about taking suspicion. And the courts have repeatedly upheld that. I that I either do, committed sir. a crime, am committing a crime, or about to commit a crime. I don't, well, I'm you're not I'm, articulating a well, crime. I'm explaining to you that you're there's crime in it. That's why like you can stop somebody. Hey, so let me get your ID. There's so a lot of crime in the area. Do you understand? That's all, sir. I'm not saying is suspicion a crime? Nope. Suspicion is not a crime. I'm not saying anything wrong. I just wanted to know what you were doing. If you're telling me you're just taking a picture of the building, that's fine. We can leave. There's I no said that. No, you didn't say that. Yeah, I did. And you said that I need a reason to. Reason to what? You said, is there a reason why you're taking pictures of the building? So you know I'm taking pictures of the building. I was asking you, but because yeah, I, I wanted to know what the reason So was. you know what I'm doing. I don't know why you're taking pictures of the building, that's all. Do, do you need to know why? Yes, I do. I'm exercising it's my First federal, Amendment. It's a federal bill. We're just curious. That's do you know that the Department of Homeland Security... What's your first name? Do you know that the Department of Homeland Security put out a memo in 2018 that the American citizens have the right to take pictures inside sure. and outside of federal buildings? I understand that. So why are you... So why do I need a reason? I'm not because you asked me for ID. Yes. 
and I, I feel offended. Like I, I don't mean to offend you. It's not funny. I just wanted to know what the reason for the picture is. And right. rather than coming up to me, right? You should speak to them. They called you. Yeah, they called and they, they said you were outside. I didn't call you. I don't need help. They said you were calling me. I said they called inside and I wanted to see you. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is I don't need nobody's help. I don't need nothing from nobody. I didn't say you did. I'm just we minding just my did. business. Okay. Well, we just need, you know, a couple of answers. What was going on? That's all. So you just taking pictures of the building. That's you know all. what you should do? You should go inside and educate the federal, I, our I was, federal I was, workers. I was taking them out. I just was getting curious. Just educate them. So what you were taking pictures? And I was asking you, do I need a reason? Well, yeah, you do. I was just wondering Why? what the reason was. Why do I need a reason? Because it's a little, you know, it's a little big. You're filming pictures. You're taking pictures here where we you're, have a lot of crimes. You're, you're recording me. Is that weird? That's no. part of the problem. You know, that's, you're very hard to talk. No, that's, no I'm just saying, I'm just trying to make everything make to, sense. That's it. So just, just relax. I, I see you shaking. I am relaxed. I see you shaking. You're nervous. No need to I mean, you guys got guns. No, don't worry. I don't, don't, don't have worry guns. Don't, don't worry about what we got. So in the end of the day, somebody called and said somebody's out there taking pictures, videos of the building. It's for, to them it appeared to be a suspicious activity. They reported to us. We come here, we talk to you, ask a few questions. You know, we just kind of want to make sure you, you know, whatever you're doing, it's it's not compromising anybody's safety in this building. And if that's the fact, then you go on with your day. What's the big deal? So, so can, can I ask yeah. you? Did you go inside? Did you have an argument with them? Are you pissed off at them? Is it is it something else going on? Or are you only taking pictures of the building? I don't care about nobody in there. Okay. I never I've never even been inside okay, that good, building. Good. In my entire that. life have I ever stepped foot in okay, that building. Yeah. We don't know that. But just you know? just you know, somebody's sit, calling they're, they're concerned somebody's taking pictures of you outside. I don't know what the backstory behind it. Well, you know, why are you doing this? So you've never been inside, you, you know never. Do you work for USPS? Do you I don't really answer questions, honestly. Okay, all right, man. I just, I just want to make sure you. You didn't walk in and had an argument with them, and now you're reporting outside. Is that what they reported? No, no. What did they report? They said somebody outside is taking video or pictures of the building, and it's be suspicious. Is that a crime? It's not a crime, but like. So. It's just racist. It ends where it starts. There's a guy outside taking pictures. But you see your behavior while we're a little. Yeah. We, want, we want to leave. We want to leave you alone. Believe me, we want to go. I mean, I'm, am I detained? No, you're not. Okay, detained. so you can leave me alone. We just want to know what. what I don't know why it's a simple, it's a simple question. Yeah, you're because the whole work. thing is simple. You well, see okay, me on so, the public so sidewalk okay. taking okay. pictures, right. and okay. you're like, why? Okay, that's what's what your reason say. for taking pictures? That's and I right. ask you, do I need a reason yeah. to take right. a pictures right. in public on such a beautiful day? All right, so. And you're like, yes, you need a reason. No, I do not need a reason, sir. And I'm trying to keep the peace too, but you're making it more complicated. I'm just a private citizen in America exercising my rights on the public sidewalk. That's fine. If people feel uncomfortable, that's because they're ignorant to our rights. Okay, so that's when you guys come in, the guys that took right, the oath so to our why, rights, and you educate the reporting the party. Hey, listen, I understand that. he's just on the public sidewalk taking pictures. So that's all. So we right? got your side of the story. Then rather than telling me, yeah, you need a reason, I don't need a reason. No, but sir, we just needed your side of the story. So we tell us there is no side of the story. What you see is what I've been doing. Okay. Standing on the public sidewalk, taking pictures. Okay, that's it. That's simple as that. Yeah. All right. You have a simple. good day, sir. Yeah. All right, take care. Am I free to go? Yeah. You'll be free that, means I'm, that means I'm free to stay too, right? You're free to stay. Just, okay. just whatever. Don't bother anybody. You're whatever is going on. And don't eat snow. Don't eat yellow snow. Okay. Even the final police effort to assert authority gets crushed. Hey, thank you. Whatever's going on, like, you know, don't go inside and have an argument with them. And I don't, I, I, I don't need saying, directives. No, I'm just a private citizen good, minding good. my business. Okay. All I'm saying, okay. Just don't, don't. Day, okay? All right. God bless you, man. Take care. All right. You guys responded fast in Harrison. You seen that? Oh, we saw that and we saw an informed citizen educating and correcting police in epic fashion. Kudos to this YouTuber at Good Guy Audits. He was calm, matter of fact, and hilariously witty. Indeed, these officers did not stand a chance. However, we should also give some credit to these two Harrison, New York police. They were mostly polite, did not escalate, and kept this encounter from being anything other than a discussion. The police seemed to know that the auditor was within his rights and showed respect for the guy by eventually leaving him alone. As a reminder, filming and recording in public and inside publicly accessible areas of government buildings is protected under the U.S. Constitution. Clearly, a lot of police don't know this or they do know it and hope that you and I do not. In any case, every time we stand up for ourselves, we remind U.S. law enforcement officers that they work for and serve us. Police are obligated to protect and defend the Constitution, not just because they took an oath to do so, but because in Harrison, New York, and beyond, 
Our freedoms, rights, and liberties matter. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.